Welcome back everybody, it's time to crack some packs and today we are going to be rocking the Ravnica Allegiance pre-release pack. We're going Gruul because arguably it's one of the best uh, guilds that we can get in the new set. So we're going to see if we can't pull some cool cards out of this and see what we can find. Some interesting cards in Allegiance, definitely going to have some modern play few of them will definitely see uh, some good standard plays, good standard decks. Lots of stuff going on in Arena right now. Make sure you're checking out the quick matches I upload every day right around noon. But all that aside, let's uh, let's hop right into this thing and see what we can find here. We'll have a uh, whoa. we'll have a seated booster pack, a dice, and then five other booster packs to open. So let's uh. Slice into this carefully and pull this sucker out. I think that's good. Just rip it from here. By the time you guys see this, you would have already been to your pre release uh, event, so hopefully everybody had fun and got some cool pulls and made some cool decks. Slide this out. Smash, smash, smash. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. That's great. All right, there it is. We have our dice. Pretty cool looking. I like it. All right, and then we've got. I'm gonna put this this pack face down over here. Everybody will get one of these. Just a little uh, how to play and how to build your deck. And we've got our treasure token. I believe this has our code on the back. It does, so I'm going to be using that because we're going to be playing some draft here on, uh, well, you would have already seen it posted, but we're going to post it up on Saturday doing some draft. So hopefully I did well. Let me know. What do you guys think I how I did in the draft on Saturday? So we got a nice little divider for the gruel, and then we got our packs. So let's, uh, let's start with the seated pack. Go from there. We should get a nice little promo in here or whatever you want to call it might not be actually called a promo but let's see what we got here I'm gonna put that one to the back all right Gruel Locket, Clan Guild Mage, Gate Colossus, Territorial Boar, Savage Smash, Wrecker, Oh, Rebel Belt Runner, good draft card. Deface. Open the gates. Mammoth Spider. Gilgate. And there's our promo card, Rampage of the Clans. Destroy all artifacts and all enchantments for each permanent destroyed this way. Its controller creates a 3-3 green centaur creature token. Very interesting last ditch effort type move right there, but very cool. All right, put that one to the side here, and let's uh, let's get into these packs. All right, so let's get into these packs. This will be my first Allegiance booster pack that I'll open. So exciting! <laughs> So Sphinx, Rally to Battle. Oh yeah! Alright guys, well we've got our first nice little Merfolk help in standard right now. Incubation and Incongruity. That should be a pretty cool card to use in standard. Might even make its way into modern. We'll see if that makes its way into the modern decks. But look at the top five cards of your library. Reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest of the bottom of your library in random order. And then Incongruity. Exile target creature, and that creature's controller creates a 3-3 green frog lizard creature token. So it's got some uses, definitely. I'm going to be throwing this in some standard sets. And our rare is the Glass of the Guild pack. Multicolored creatures you control get plus one, plus one. And for only two, that's not bad. Nice little, like, multicolored lord, I guess. <laughs> 
Oh, and we got a nice foil on the end of Stony Strength. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control and untap that creature. Very cool. All right, second pack. Ooh, straight out of the gate, we got the nice Coral Commando, the little beefy 3-2 with just a bunch of flavor text, but let's give some credit to that artwork really quick. That is some cool merfolk artwork, some classic merfolk artwork right there. Finally, they're starting to look like merfolk again a little bit. I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10. Spirit of Spires. Oh, oh, I just spoiled it. I'll read Genesis and we got Kaya, Orzov Usurper. Nice looking Planeswalker Mythic. That is a great pull right there. Excellent. I know she's worth a couple bucks and that is great. Awesome. Get some protection on this card for sure. Throw it in a little sleeve and let's keep moving on. All right, on to the next pack. Archway Angel, Galping Lizrog, very funny looking card. Fireblade Artist. Our rare is Precognified Perception. Precognitive Perception, I can't speak. Draw three cards. If you cast a spell during your mana phase instead, scry three, then draw three cards. Oh, and at the end, we've got another... Oh, we got a foil Nakia of the Old Ways. Pretty cool foil. 5-5, five, five. you can't cast, uh, cast non-creature spells. Whenever you tap a land for mana, add one mana of any type that land produced. It's a little extra mana ramp going on for 5 mana for a 5-5 five, five body. Pretty cool foil. Alright, let's rip into this one. Oh yeah, okay, so... This guy's just a common, but come on, that is some dope looking artwork for this guy. Ever since I saw the spoiler for this guy come out, I was like, that guy looks sweet. I love it. I love it. Giving him an 8 out of 10. And Dagger Caster. Good draft card. Sentinel Mark. Wall of Lost Thoughts. And on the end. We got one of our dual cards, Revival and Revenge. Pretty cool. Alright, last pack. Tell me what have you guys thought so far? How would you uh how would you be constructing this sealed deck if you were playing it at pre-release? Growth spiral, okay. So we gotta do a shout out here. This is this is an artwork that I definitely would like the promo card for because the promo card looks absolutely amazing, and this is some beautiful artwork. Come on, you can't be mad at that artwork. That is wonderful. Nine out of ten. Skewer the critics. Glad we got this card. This one will probably see modern play, play in the burn decks. Uh, pretty cool spectacle for one uh, red. You may cast a spell for its spectacle, spectacle cost uh, rather than a span of cost if your opponent lost life this turn. And it's three damage to any target. Pretty cool. Racketeers, high alert. Smelt Ward, what's going to be the last one? Biomancer Familiar. I know he's worth uh, one or two bucks. Not too bad. Uh, two, two for two with some uh, nice text to go along with it. So not too bad of an end. Now, I saw a lot of Simic. Uh, not too many things in our, uh, our guild. All right, so let's go through these really quick here. Our cards that uh, we got. Biomancer Familiar, Revival Revenge, Precognitive Perception, and Kia of the Old Ways of Foil. 
Glass of the Guild Pack and Rampage of the Clans is our promotional card for the pre-release kit. And our big hit, you know it's going to be our Planeswalker Kaya over here. Some dope looking Planeswalkers in this set. Hope everybody's going to enjoy them. And uh, yeah, let's see what our total came to. Should be pretty good. Pretty happy. So I w I'm curious to see what kind of deck I would build with all these. You know what I'm going to do actually? I'm going to build uh, a constructed deck with all these. What my choice would be for this. And I'll throw up the picture on the screen now. Let me know what you guys think about the deck that I built. Uh, would you have done it differently? Would you have picked differently? How would you have constructed it? Let me know in the comments below. And stay tuned, guys, because we are going to be cracking some more of these pre-release kits and seeing what we can do with them. Uh, and again, I hope everybody enjoyed their pre-release night or day. Hope you got some good pulls, and we will see you guys in the next one.